Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to show you how to format a hard drive using the command line. Now typically when we format a hard drive we use the disk utility application inside the utilities folder. So if you're looking for that I'll show you where it is. You go to File, New Finder Window, Applications, scroll to the bottom of Applications, choose Utilities, and there is the disk utility app. In here, you can choose your drive, and in this case, we're going to format an external hard drive. So see, we have an external hard drive connected to our computer via USB. And we can see it here, and we can also see it here on the desktop. And it's just called USB hard drive. There's almost 500 gigs of space used on it, just a little bit free. Now we could choose erase if we want to do that, but let's say you're having some error uh, with that or you need to erase it from the command line. I'll show you how to do that. So quit that. We'll open up the terminal application. Close this. So the very first thing to do is to get some information about the drives hooked up to your computer. So type in disk util and then list. And this shows you the drives hooked up to your computer. So this will be a critical step because you don't want to erase the incorrect drive and that could kill your system uh, so it's very very important and I should say before you start doing any kind of erasing make sure you have a backup of your system drive in case you make a mistake make sure you've got a good solid time machine backup before you do any of this work okay so we have three listings here the first listing is our startup drive so the drive is internal so in this case on this MacBook it's the internal drive it's the startup drive here, Macintosh HD. It's located here at Dev Disk 0. And at Dev Disk 1 is the actual volume for that drive. So see here it says it's called Macintosh HD. And it's the new Apple APFS volume format. We have another video where we explain the different um, formatting volumes, so I'll try to link that below. And we have a third listing right here, DevDisk2. That's our external hard drive, our USB drive. So you can see it's Apple HFS right now, and it is a USB hard drive. So this is the one that we want to reformat or erase. So now we are ready to format our drive. And we'll make sure that we format it from the correct location. So this is the location here. You want to make sure you don't touch the other stuff. And we'll type in disk util. Erase disk space. Now it's important that you put in erase all in lowercase, capital D, and then lowercase ISK. Otherwise it won't recognize the command. It has to be exactly how we're typing it in here. And we need to give it a format. So we're going to choose the APFS format. That's the new format that all modern Macintoshes and modern operating systems are using. You can see here that the internal hard drive is an APFS volume. And then we need to give it a name. We're going to just call it external. And you can have spaces in the names, but it's hard to type in the command line because you have to use a special escape character to make that work um, so that the command line doesn't think that spaces in the name are actual new commands, like the spaces here are new commands. So for now, while you're learning this, just use a single word and you can always change it later in the desktop. Uh, so we need to give it a location. So we're going to choose our location here, and it has to be exact so that you don't erase the wrong disk. So remember, make sure it's the right disk, make sure you have a backup of your computer. So we'll just copy that, and we'll paste it, and then we'll hit return. Great, and now it should start the erasing process. So it should unmount the disk, and then erase it, and give it a new format based on the command that we put in and then give it a new name. Okay, so the command is finished. It only took a few minutes, so that drive was almost full actually. 
and uh, so it erased it here. You can see on the desktop it's remounted it. It's given it a new name. If I open up the disk, we can see that it's empty. So our format formatting has worked. Now if we want to change the name and add some spaces, we can. You can click on it once and then you can make it whatever name that you want. So I can call it uh, hard drive, let's say. And then the name should stick. Well, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please hit the thumbs button to like the video. And if you uh, like these videos, please subscribe to our channels. We put uh, videos out regularly with different tips and tricks. If you have any suggestions on new topics that we can cover, please put it down in the command line and share these videos on social media. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.